So let's move on here, shall we? Mia. Uh... Do 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 do. Get my uh. Okay. So let's keep moving, shall we? Freaking mommies? Out of my way. Got business to conduct here. I believe there is a boss coming up, and uh. here in a bit. And the boss of this place is actually extremely easy. Quite possibly the easiest boss fight in the game, to be honest. Mainly because most of its attacks are pretty easily avoidable, for the most part. And we get another summon ghost, like really? What's up with that? I don't know, man. It's crazy. Hey, it's a tan jelly! Which of course, yes, poisons you, which is really obnoxious. But yeah, they don't have any drops, so we, we don't have to worry about that. Let's see here. Tan jelly! A poisonous creature made of a slimy gel, resistant to physical attacks. Not a big deal. Much like they were in Dawn of Sato. Let's go this way. Got some jack o bones and demon head, and yeah. It's good times. More tan jellies, of course. You know, because they're annoying. Yeah, they are resistant to physical attacks, but with the spear, I mean, we, we, can, we can still kill them in a few hits, so... Not a big deal. Two thousand dollars! Damn, just like that. Another old axe armor. Not a big deal. He's just kind of there. Whoa, well, okay! Projectiles all over the place. Jeez, what the freak, man? It's like being in a pinball machine. Where are they coming from? You got a Venus brooch and a bunch of money, that's cool. Venus brooch, which I think is pretty good. Brooch blessed by Venus, goddess of love and beauty. Yeah, who brings up luck? It's basically good for your magical stats. Which is good, you know, it's not a bad thing. Okay, now let's head to that upper path. How's it going? Demon Hyud. I should probably go back and uh, save though, because my HP's getting low. Just to be safe. Ridden back to the save point. Dude, doing a safety save. Whoa. Dude, get out of my body. I don't like it. I don't like having demons inside my body. It doesn't feel good. You know what I mean? It, it just doesn't feel right. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. There we go. Safety save. Okay, good times. So now let's head to that upper path. Kill some mummies along the way. Stone Musk. Out of the way, Demon Head. We got stuff to be doing here, okay? Just calm down. Ghosts? Out of my way. Ow! Don't you be throwing bones at me? I don't like that, man. I don't like that shit. It's not a good thing. Alright, I got up here more spikes and more jacko bones. What is this? Spoiled milk. Its expiration date is from three years ago. Damn, I don't want none of that. Sheesh. Three years ago. More spoiled milk. Really? What's up with that? And spoiled milk up the wazoo. Whoa. Dude, don't knock me off screen! I don't need that. Freaking people? Knocking me off screen. The nerve. Ah, freaking tangelis. 
hanging up, hanging up, hanging out on the walls, and it's crazy up in here. Anything up here? Yes. MP Max up. Good stuff. Okay. Let's head the other way, shall we? I did not mean to do that, but okay. I, I, I seem to do that a lot, though. I don't know why. I don't mean to do it, it just kind of happens, usually at stupid times. But okay. Lesser demons! You know, because they're less than demons and such. Demon head! Oh, another demon head. Three of them in one room, wow. So if you wanted to kill demon heads, this is like the best room to go to. Another $2,000. What's up with that? Just bags of $2,000 just sitting around. Someone clearly robbed a bank. Yorick! You remember our good friend Yorick? Yes. A skeleton that ceaselessly chases his own skull, as always. He actually has a drop. That's kind of surprising. Quizzical! Got a couple incline rooms. Dude, I can't hit him. There you go. Wee, 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 wee. Oh boy, we got some traps. Come on, Charlotte. Stop being dumb. There's our boss, but first we want to come up here. There's a save point there, but first we want to go up here and we get some of these. MP max up. And HP max up. Very nice. And we can come up here. Go this way and there's... A Laura and a Mimic. Nothing else, just kind of there. And if we go this way, we can open up a shortcut back towards the beginning. So we'll go ahead and do that, and it'll be good times. There's that lamp that we couldn't get to before. We can open this up. Shortcut back, I suppose. So that's cool. Alright, I say it's boss time. Like I said, this is a pretty easy boss. I highly recommend using a thousand blade because it works extremely well. Especially if you do it at the right time. Dun -dun. Yes, yeah, so this is the m -m 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 mummy man. Like I said his attacks are pretty easy to avoid. Basically, he shoots these blocks out. They, they start green, but once they turn red, they start coming for you. They're usually pretty easy to avoid, but, you know. You want to jump over that, because, yeah, spikes appear, and, but they're pretty easy to avoid. There we go. Oh, look at that. That's just sick. Yeah, you want to stand behind him as much as you can, because when you do, his, like, wraps will not be able to hit you. So, yeah. So try and always get behind him. Look at the damage we're doing though. That, that's disgusting. Got him! See? He's freaking easy. I think it's the first boss we've beaten on the first shot. <laughs> Kinda sad, but yeah. Check him out! A member of a royal family who became a mummy in search of everlasting life. Gives 5,000 experience. It's not too bad, considering how easy he is. More portraits! Yay! But first, we want to come over this way. There's a warp point. And. Holy Mail! Armor that reduces damage from holy attacks. It's good for that, but its defense isn't as good as what we've got, so. Yeah. So now we want to head back to the castle and go into the next area, which should be fun. The next area, which is a pretty interesting area, actually. 
so let's head into it. 